Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. If the mean gestational sac diameter is greater than 20 mm and there is no yolk sac or embryonic pole, this is defined as an empty sac miscarriage, or if at the follow-up scan after at least one week, there is still no embryonic cardiac activity or the gestational sac remains empty, then a diagnosis of non-viability can be made. Let's help you make your mark. If there are no signs of pregnancy or inconsistent signs, like a large gestational sac without any yolk sac or fetal pole, it may mean you have a blighted ovum or are otherwise miscarrying. This is very common in the earliest weeks of pregnancy, when the risk is the highest. Make your mark, take our lead. Answer from Yvonne Butler Toba, MD. A blighted ovum, also called an anembryonic pregnancy, occurs when an early embryo never develops or stops developing, is resorbed and leaves an empty gestational sac. The reason this occurs is often unknown, but it may be due to chromosomal abnormalities in the fertilized egg. Take our lead. The fetal pole is usually visible towards the end of the fifth week and at six weeks the developing embryo appears as an echogenic line of about 5 mm tangentially touching and closely attached to the yolk sac, fig, 4.1. Make your mark, take our lead. A blighted ovum is a type of very early miscarriage that happens when a fertilized egg never develops into an embryo or an embryo stops growing shortly after implantation. Because it occurs within just a few weeks of ovulation and fertilization, many women aren't even aware that they were pregnant in the first place. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.